All right, so we're on our way to this respiratory failure call. We're playing as Medic Jones. You know he's the captain. So let's get over there, Code 3, as, as always. All right, so I think this is the house they're at, but we won't know until we knock down the door. So let's go knock the door down. Uh huh. All right, let's go break open this person's door. Hopefully, they're not dying from a heart attack. Paramedics. They're not in the bathroom. Not in the kitchen. Let's check upstairs. Yep, she's right down the floor. Alright, let's go get our medic bag. So we can give her some attention. We're gonna also back up the truck. We're gonna also back the truck up. Alright, so let's go ahead and inspect her. Alright, so her body is good. We got a pulse there. Let's see about her head. She's breathing. She's conscious. That's good. Left arm's good. Right arm's good. Left leg's good. Alright, so everything's good, but she's going to need a medic mask. I, I do apologize to y'all because they upgraded stuff. Um, so there's a lot of options now, but we got that medic medic mask on her because I'm the captain. I'm not driving a ambulance today. I'm driving the captain truck, so an ambulance will take it from here. And we're gonna go to the next call. And look at that! Look at that! They pulled up in five minutes. They must have known the captain's working today. All right, so. They're going to take her to the hospital and we're going to go to the next call.
Alright, we got a diabetic emergency right across the way in Suburbs West, so let's get over there. You know, everything is cool, three. Alright, so this game does not let me put the medic bag on my back. So first we're gonna get out a halogen tool, break down the door, and then we're gonna go back to the truck. What would you mean when you gotta break down the door? You need another person with you and them carry the medic bag and you break down the door. Alright, so the door's been broke open and now we can get our medic bag and go check on this person. All right, so we're gonna call the police because we we broke down the door to the wrong house. So we just want the police to be alerted. We found the right house, so let's go ahead and move our vehicle and then check on this lady who's sitting on the couch having a diabetic uh, emergency. We gotta move fast. That way she doesn't go into aftershock or she or she has a heart attack. We don't we don't want that to happen. How you doing there, ma'am? Paramedics, let's go ahead and inspect you. So, so far she's breathing everywhere. She's doing good. She's half cautious, half uncautious. But we're going to go ahead and do a glucose test. <laughs> All right, we're getting 55, which is not good. So let's go give her some medicine. We're going to give her some oral glucose PO. See her taking the medicine, drinking the water. That's a good thing. And uh, just for my safety and her safety, I'm going to call a unit to take her down to the hospital. Just be on the safe side. She's, she's showing she's good right now, but I want her to be excellent. So we're going to go ahead and put our bag in here. I can hear them. I don't know where they at. So I'm going to sit in the vehicle till they pull up. I might have write down their response time because their response time on the last one was good. I don't know about this one. We'll see if they get it right. So we're going to sit here until they pull up before we leave. And I'm going to leave her by herself. Okay, so they got stuck in the traffic jam on the other side and they came around to this side. So they're using their brain today. I'm feeling like the training we spent on yesterday for 72 hours is working out. 
for training these guys real hard on how to drive. I seen them on the other side. Hopefully they make their way over here. We're not going anywhere till they get here. Just chilling. Alright, so they're finally here. We got a call for unconscious person. Let's see where we're going for this call. Dispatch, can I get a location update? Thank you. Alright, let's close the map. I'll reopen it. Oh, we're going back over to suburbs east. Looks like we're just chilling in the suburbs today. Alright, let's get over there. Code 3, I know how it is. Same process as always. Got to knock the door down and then all that jazzy jazz. Alright, so based on her head, I guess she felt out of the chair backwards because her, her head's got a little fracture, saying. But we're going to mainly worry about the fact that she's not breathing right now. So, let's remove her. No, we can do CPR with the clothes on. Alright, so we're going to perform some CPR here. Hopefully we ain't got shocker. Alright, it's not saying anything, so. It's not saying anything, but I'm gonna go get the other machine. I think we gotta, I think we want the shocker. I think we want the shocker on scene. So let's get our other machine out of here. Get our other machine out. Some, some people told me that this machine looks like a. A radio, so. So let's go ahead and remove her clothes, and then we're going to shock her. Let's put the ECG leads on her. One right here, one right there. Alright, so she is showing flatline, okay? She's showing that she ain't, she ain't here with us. So we're going to go ahead and shock her. Alright. One, two, three, shock. Alright, we're going to try CPR again, see if we can get her moving. Alright. 
Yeah. All right, so she is uh fully good to go. So we're gonna remove everything. Um, and then we're gonna call it a medic. We're gonna call a unit to pick up, and then we're gonna go cold. We can go code 364, which means we're not available, so we can go back to the station and switch vehicles. That way, we can treat people and take them to the hospital. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. All right, so we respond to a hit and run down in the marina. It's a little weird, but the way it is.
All right, so we're here. Let's get our meta bag out. We're gonna go check her out. So let's ins let's inspect her now. All right, so let's do a IV push. All right, we gotta move her clothes before we can do that. All right, clothes removed. IVs in. Let's do some normal saline. All right, let's go get our other tools. Tool bag. Fresh kit tool bag, you know how that go. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, so we don't have to request ambulance because we had the ambulance here. But let's put our bags back and then um, put her on a stretcher. All right, she's on a stretcher and we're going to take her to the hospital now and they're going to take over from there. First got first got to turn around here. All right. All right, so let's take her out, get her checked in, and then we're gonna do some paperwork. And then after that, we can call it a day. Hate the stretch at times. There we go. All right, we got another taken nurse right here. All 
All right, we're gonna leave that here. And we're gonna come over here. Do some paperwork. Uh, catch you guys in the next one.